willpower. What is willpower? Is willpower fasting 24 hours with no food, just water? Is willpower working out every single day? Is willpower fasting throughout most of the day? Is willpower abstaining from addictive vices such as pornography and alcohol and, and, and drugs and whatnot? Is it willpower when you wake up every single morning knowing that you have to complete your mission and pursue your purpose every single day? The answer is yes. All of those things require willpower because none of those things are easy. None of those things are easy to do. They're not at all. They're incredibly difficult and that's why you need willpower. That's why you need to wake yourself up in the morning and you need to psych yourself up to take that cold shower, do a cold plunger to work out in the morning, right? Because every single day you're not gonna feel like doing all these things. And willpower has to apply, especially when it's when it's benefiting you, when whatever your action is doing is benefiting you. It on your way from home to work, it takes zero willpower to, you know, just turn into into Burger King and get that burger or Wendy's or you know wherever you go, right? That doesn't take any willpower. It takes zero willpower to to eat a donut, but it takes willpower to not eat a donut. It takes willpower to just stay home, still in your route and not turn into that Wendy's or that McDonald's. These things all require willpower, right? And and it's a mental thing. It's mental, completely mental, right? If you're fasting, me, example, I'm fasted right now. I'm fasted during this workout. I've um, I've been fasting for a couple of days and every single workout I've been doing, I've been doing fasted, no food in my system. Today was incredibly hard, out in the sun, sweating, just, Oh my gosh, it was insane. It was insane. And I could have stopped the workout whenever I wanted to. I, I, and I did a full workout. I did a full workout, but I, and I could have stopped it. Could have stopped it halfway. I could have been like, well, you know, I'm fasting. You know, I probably shouldn't push myself too hard. But I, 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 just, I kept going anyways. And I feel amazing right now. I feel amazing. And I still haven't eaten as I'm recording this, um, this voiceover right now. But again, it takes willpower, right? I've been up since like 4 a.m right i've been up since 4 a.m right now it's 4 p.m um as i'm doing this voiceover and i still haven't eaten and again the this takes willpower it's not easy i could go in the fridge easily and just eat whatever bull crap i want to eat right i could just you know and that's another thing too it takes willpower to make sure to eat what is right for you and to eat what is good for you and and you know again to restrict your the the, the time that you're eating and to restrict the amount that you're eating because again it's not easy you know it's not easy it's all a mental game like 90 percent of the stuff that we do every single day is all a mental game right and for the past like year or so i've been watching videos and hearing stuff about how oh you know well we only have um you know willpower for you know a certain amount a day so we it's like a battery and if we do too much to 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 use up that willpower, we end up draining that battery and we end up succumbing to addictions and all these things and all these vices and whatever the case may be. So it kind of almost seems like it's allowing you to abstain from one thing in particular or to keep pursuing one thing in particular, but you slack off on everything else because, well, you know, you don't want to drain your willpower too much for a day. I don't think that's true right now. Maybe I'm misinterpreting the um, studies and the sciences, but I believe that if you're going to use your willpower and abstain from, you know, one thing, you should try and do that for everything else in your life, or at least slowly, slowly, day by day doing that, right? This way you can build up basically your willpower, right? Think of it as a muscle, right? You train your muscles, they're going to get bigger, stronger, they're going to have more endurance, right? And you're going to have a much stronger willpower and much stronger discipline, right? Willpower and discipline, those two things go together. They're practically almost the same thing. And so just think of everything else in our life that we can do. We can grow everything. We can grow our resources. We can grow our our finances. We can grow our muscles. We can grow our brain. We can grow our hair. And so it's like, you know, why wouldn't you be able to grow your willpower, right? Right. You know, if you spend every single day doing at least 15 minutes of reading or reading one chapter out of a book every day or something like that, 
you're going to enhance your reading, right? If you spend every single day abstaining from, this, an example is me, right? this is my example, right? Pornography, right? That's one of my weaknesses. And every day that I go by without looking at it or consuming it or whatever, I become mentally stronger, right? It's like, as the days go by, I don't even want to look at that stuff. I don't even want to see it. I don't even care for it. I, I, I don't even think about it sometimes. And, and that's what it can do, right? That's what it can do. You know, it, it, it takes a lot of effort, though, especially in the beginning, because, and this is for anything, this is for anything, right? When it comes to willpower, right? When you're abstaining or when you're taking it upon yourself to do something difficult every day on purpose, right? In the beginning, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know, especially if it's not something that you will inherently enjoy, but you might enjoy the, re the results, right? Like, People exercise, a workout, stuff like that, right? And they, some people would rather not. Some people would rather not. But guess what? They enjoy all the benefits it comes with, right? They enjoy being able to, to you know, feel better in their own bodies, physically and mentally, right? Um, and then fasting, right? So recently, you know, I just got through doing Ramadan. And that takes willpower, you know, to say that you're not going to eat throughout the entire day and, you know, only eat um, throughout, throughout the night um, or, you know, when the sun is down, that takes willpower, right? For 30 days, for 30 complete days to do that, that takes willpower. And then on top of that, you know, you're making sure you're praying on time. Um, you're also abstaining from other things. Like one thing is like, you know, you abstain from sex when during Ramadan, you abstain from consuming information and stuff just consuming anything that is bad for your mental and spiritual and even like masturbation and pornography you're supposed to abstain from that otherwise you'll break your fast and all those things require willpower and i just i just love being able to kind of take control over myself slowly by you know day by day slow slowly by slowly and being able to kind of get a glimpse of true freedom right um, with willpower, with discipline, you will actually get freedom because you can tell yourself, your own body and your own mind where, where you want to go, where you want to be, how you're going to get there, things, things like that without having the bodily distractions, without having the, the vein and the ego getting in the way, without having these outside distractions getting in the way because you are, you know, you are becoming the master of your own self, right? And I, I, I say these things a lot. Um, because I think it's just very important, right? It's very important to be able to master yourself because when you master yourself, you master your environment um, and you can go anywhere, practically anywhere in life. And that requires willpower, right? That requires self-discovery, time alone with your thoughts and willpower. It's not easy. It's not easy at all, man. And just let me tell you, bro, this workout, it was not easy, bro. It was not easy. All the footage compiled together was 20... 22 minutes, I think, right? And this is a, like an 11 minute video or 11 and a half minute video. And just the amount of times I had to sit down and rest and everything because I'm fasted. And this is like the most intense it's, it's been, right? This is the most int intense. I'm out in the sun. It's hot. Um, and again, like I'm working out, right? That, that requires willpower. Even though I enjoy exercise, that requires me to keep on it and to stay on it because I have a duty to myself. I have a promise to myself and I have to keep on that, right? And that's a form of self-respect, right? If you if you have something that you want to set your mind to and, and you do it and you have, you've already started on it, you need to keep on it, right? And I need to learn these things for myself too, right? I need to also follow my own advice in some aspects and some other aspects of life, right? Because you have to wait for the, the, the seed you know, that you planted to grow, right? If you've, if you've invested all these resources, all this time, all this research, all this energy, and you're just going to give up without like, you know, at least seeing the halfway point or seeing some type of actual positive, tangible progress, then you're never going to get anywhere. And again, it requires willpower, right? I mean, it's not easy to stick to something so laborious and boring and, and whatnot, um, you know, you might you might even think college is kind of like one of these aspects, right, where if you're picking the right degree or the right thing to study um, or whatever the case may be, right, you're going to have to, it's going to have to take time, right, because you're going to take your 
preliminary classes you're going to take you know all these other pre-required courses and then you work in your major and then you choose your specific um you know way of like doing your major or whatever the case may be right and that takes that you know that process takes you know usually four years if you're getting a bachelor's degree and it takes willpower right instead of just dropping out i mean i think the dropout rate is pretty high because not a lot of people are for one finding out what it is what their actual calling is in life and if they do they can't find a um an institution to support that and if they they can't they will venture out into other means and they'll be able to assert willpower i mean there's so many things you can do in your life that will require hard work right i mean you don't get anywhere for free you don't get anywhere for free everything costs there's a sacrifice to everything right i mean you know how how i don't know just me exercising every single day making these videos right I have to sacrifice a lot of things, right? I have to sacrifice time. I have to maybe sacrifice sleep if I'm having to work on assignments. You know, I have to sacrifice possible, um, like, you know, gatherings and stuff like that uh, because I'm doing this, right? This is my, this is what I'm focused on and I want to do this and I'm fine with doing this. And those are the, the, that's what I'm willing to give up. You know, I'm willing to give up in return of me investing my time and energy and even some money here and there into this thing with YouTube, right? And it's the same thing with school. It's the same thing with my health. It's the same thing with reading books, right? So yeah, just again, you're going to have to input more willpower in your life and discipline because these things will require, you know, just so, so much mental energy and you will become free.